Uh, what of the following is the most likely diagnosis? Granulomatosis with polyangitis, which is called Wegner or Wegner's granulomatosis, microscopic polyangitis, um, eosinophilic, eosinophilic granulomatosis with polyangitis, which is Church Strauss, uh, good pasture, or Henox Schlonlein purpura. A 35-year-old woman presents to the clinic with a one-month history of worsening asthma, um, nasal congestion, and sinus pain. She also reports experiencing fatigue and unintentional weight loss. Her laboratory results show elevated eosinophil levels and a rip, uh, positive P. anca. A chest X-ray reveals infiltrates in both lungs. Which of the following is the most likely uh, diagnosis? This is a uh, Church Strauss. Um, I agree. this is my initial goes just Church Strauss. When I see asthma, when I see um, when I see like nasal congestion and eosinophils, obviously are, are very eosinophilic. Granulomatosis and then you see a positive P. anca is positive in three tests or two tests. And it's microscopic polyangitis and eosinophilic granulomatosis with polyangitis. This is leaning more heavily towards um, eosinophilic poly uh, granulomatosis with polyangitis. Perfect. Final answer? Yes. Good. So, um, you know, in the ENT world, we call this an atopic profile, right? Atopic meaning, you know, allergic profile, right? Mm -hmm. um, so eosinophils, right? A lot of these patients have asthma, um, allergic rhinitis, eczema, right? A all those things, right? Um, sometimes EOE too. But yeah, so it fits the Church-Strauss kind of uh, symptomology. So perfect. So yeah, um, we're, as you know, in medicine, I'm, you know, over time, we're going to start renaming, I think they've already started, you're, you're renaming kind of the diseases that are named after people. So unfortunately, we're kind of in that period where it's half and half, right? So you got to remember all the names, plus also the new medical term that goes with it, of course. And so um, just kind of be aware of both the Church Strauss and also, you know, this eosinophilic granulomatosis with polyangitis, right? And of course, you know, granulomatosis with polyangitis, do you know what this one is? That's Wegner's granulomatosis? Yeah, that's Wegner's, yeah. So, it, it, you know, it, it, of course, it's, you know, sometimes it's just a bunch of different names for the same thing, which is super annoying sometimes. But, yeah, that's yeah. medicine. <laughs>